Are you chewing gum, Bridget? <laughs> I've called the three of you in here to tell you what a great job you did on your auditions for the role of Juliet. You girls have really done your homework. Unfortunately, I can only cast one of you, so I want to have another round of auditions to decide who will play Juliet. Ladies. Here's one of Julia's monologues. Callbacks will be tomorrow at four. As the saying goes, brush up on your Shakespeare. Now I have another announcement to make. I have cast Romeo. Jason, come on in here. One of your lucky girls will be playing Juliet opposite Jason Ramon. Hey guys, good luck on your auditions tomorrow. It was the law. The herald of the morn. No, Nightingale. Look, love. What envious streaks do lace the severing clouds in yonder east? Night's candles are burnt out, and Jokun Day stands tiptoe on the misty mountaintops. I must be gone and live, or stay and die. You've got work to do. See you tomorrow. I'm sorry, you guys, but I have to get this part. It's my last chance to get Jason to go out with me. Jason. 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 What are you doing? Have you lost your mind? I heard somewhere that if you like someone and you clutch a golden heart while spinning around three times and saying their name, Don't enchant him. Where on earth did you hear that? I read it on the internet. Is crazy contagious? <laughs> Not the last time I checked, but just in case. Very fun, but you'll see tomorrow when I get the part. There are two reasons why you're not going to get the part, no matter how many times you spin around. Go ahead, Nikki, and grace us with your wisdom. The first reason, it's simple. I'm going to be cast as Juliet. And number two? You're twice as tall as Jason. I mean, maybe it'd work if we were doing Jack and the Beanstalk. Fee, fi, fo, fum. <laughs> you want to eat a step ladder just to kiss you. But me and Jason, we see eye to eye. Let's put an end to this charade, ladies. I will get the part simply because I am the best actress. Don't forget, I've been on television before. Are you talking about those car commercials you do for your dad's used car lot? Come on down to Crazy Bob's auto sales. My dad's insane. We'll get you credit or the car is free. That's crazy. <laughs> Come on down to Crazy Bob's auto sales. That's C-R-A-Z-Y-B-O-B-S. Very funny, guys. But tease me all you want. I'm going to play Juliet, and you can watch me kiss Jason night after night. This by his voice should be a Montague. Fetch me my rapier, boy. What dares the slave? Come hither, covered with an antic face, to flee in scorn at our solemnity? Now by the stock in honor of my kin, to strike him dead I hold it not a sin. Uncle, this is a Montague, our foe, a villain that is hither come in spite. 
to scorn at our solemnity this night? Tis he, that villain, Romeo. You're going to make the perfect Tybalt. I'm going to make the perfect Juliet, with your help, of course. Why should I help you, Bridget? Name your price. I have a book report due Monday on the American Revolution. Consider it done. <laughs> so what's up? It was easy for you guys to get cast because not that many guys show up auditions. But every girl wants to play Juliet. So who's your competition? Say not, Nikki. Let me do some recon and I'll get back to you with my plan. You're the man. Whose cold arm is that? Must be Nikki's. Oh, flattery. It'll get you nowhere. What's up, Nikki? I need a favor, Kyle. Oh yeah? And what's in it for me? Name your price. Read To Kill a Mockingbird and do a report for me for Miss Bennett's class. Oh, lucky me. I've already read it. Here's what you're gonna do for me. I already know. You want me to sabotage Bridget and Sane's auditions tomorrow? How'd you know? If I told you, I'd have to kill you. Whatever. Just make sure I get the part tomorrow. And don't worry about Sana. She'll never get the part playing the opposite of Jason. Just make sure Bridget doesn't get the part. I have an idea. You know how Mrs. Cardington is always telling us to take risks with our acting? Well, I think you should wrap your monologue. The other girls, they won't think of that. That is brilliant. Hey, what's the big idea, Sana? Quiet. I need your help. I already know. You want me to sabotage the other girls' auditions tomorrow. What? What gave you that idea? I would never want to sabotage someone's audition. Don't you believe in karma? Karma? Who's that? Some new girl in school? No, you idiot. Karma is a law in Hinduism, which maintains that every act done will eventually return back to the doer with equal impact. And you believe that stuff? Of course I do. No, I want to win this fair and square. And you've got to help me. Me? Yes, you. I saw your audition for the role of Romeo, and you should be playing the part of Romeo. But Jason got it because he's a senior. I want you to help me with my Shakespeare. And what's in it for me? Why does there always have to be something in it for you? Can't you do it for the joy of helping someone? Do it because we've been friends since kindergarten. Do it for your love of the theater. I'll do it if you do my algebra homework tonight. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the callbacks for Romeo and Juliet. Well, with no more from me, let's get started. Bridget, you first, and Jason is going to act with you. What did you do to Bridget? I traded her gum for some prank gum. <laughs> Wherefore art thou, Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name, or if thou will not, be but sworn, my love and I'll no longer be a Capulet. Shall I speak at this, or shall I hear more? Tis but thy name that is thy enemy. Thou art thyself, but not Montague. What's Montague? It is nor hand, nor foot, nor arm, nor face, nor any other part belonging to a man. Oh, be some other name. What's in a name that which we call a rose by any other name would smell sweet? So Romeo would, were he not Romeo called, Retain that dear perfection of which he owes without that title. Romeo, doff thy name, and for that name which is no part of you, take all my Oh my God, what's happening to me? I suggest you go see a doctor, Bridget. Nikki, you're up. Miss Connington, you have always told us to take risks with our acting, and that's how you get cast as the lead. Well, what I'm about to do is taking the biggest risk of all. Hit it, Maggie! Oh, Romeo, Romeo, art thou Romeo? Deny thy father from the peace and I made. Or if thou will not be the sworn, my love, I will no longer be a Capulet. <laughs> Tis but thy name that 
he is my enemy for 5,000. That much good works, much good. Your hand, your foot, your arm, your face, nor any other part belonging to a man. Oh, be some other name. <laughs> What's in a name in which we call a rose? Would smell so sweet. So Romeo would wear a he not call. Retain that dear perfection that she owes without that title. Romeo doth that name. And for that name, which is no part of me, take on myself. <laughs> Does that mean I don't get the part? <laughs> thou Romeo, deny thy father and refuse thy name, or if thou wilt not, be but sworn by love, and I'll no longer be a Capulet. Shall I speak at this, or shall I hear more? Tis but thy name that is my enemy. Thou art thyself, though not a Montague. What's Montague? Tis no hand, no foot, nor arm, nor face, nor any other part belonging to a man. Oh, be some other name. What's in a name? That which we call a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. So Romeo would, were he not Romeo called, retain that dear perfection which he owes without that title. Romeo, doff thy name, and for that name which is no part of thee, I take on myself. Looks like we found our Juliet. That was magnificent, dear. <laughs> you idiot! You're supposed to sabotage all their auditions, not just Nikki and Bridget. So Nikki and Bridget told me not to worry about Sena. Since she was so tall, she wouldn't get the part. Aww. Crap. I think my mic's still on. I think you're right. Can someone say busted? Everybody in the conference room now! I am very disappointed. Now the question is how I should punish you for your transgressions. And the answer came to me in a flash. Bridget. Your father asked me whether I could send him several students to participate in his next commercial, and I said to myself, there is no way I would have any of my students humiliated in one of Crazy Bob's commercials. So I was about to decline the offer. But now, all of you, except for Sena, of course, all of you are going to be in Crazy Bob's next commercial. And if we refuse? You'll be kicked out of the show and suspended for a week, which means for you, Jason, no graduation. And what exactly are we doing in this commercial? I don't know. Something about chickens. <laughs> Smells like karma to me. Hey, Jason. We're ready for you. You ready to go? Yeah. You know your lines? Yeah. Do it for me. What a plucking good deal. No, no, do it more. I mean, I need more than that, right? Do it with the chicken head on. What a plucking good deal. That's it. <laughs> mm. 